get ready, I'm gonna show you two quick ways that you could dodge and burn in Photoshop using Lumenzia. All right, so this is an image I took in Colorado where we were just about to get dumped on by a thunderstorm. And what I wanna do is accentuate the bright uh, colors of the leaves in these trees in the background here. So I'll zoom in on that just a little bit so that we can focus on those trees. Move this around a little bit here. And I'm gonna show you two ways that you can affect that using Lumenzia. So if you haven't downloaded Lumenzia, uh, just put in your search bar, type in Lumenzia, you'll find the download. Actually, I've got the link to it in the description of this video. So you don't have to go anywhere else other than that. Um, and you've got your darks, your mediums, and your lights. I'm gonna choose a lights one. And it's done a pretty good job of choosing just the highlighted areas of this tree, but I can double click on the levels and fine tune it by dragging my sliders until I've got it just where I want it. I think that's good as far as capturing the highlights that I want to from those leaves. So now I will choose Dodge, leave this at transparent pixels, choose Dodge Burn. And now I can sample my colors. So I'm gonna choose a really lighter part of this tree here and change in the color picker it to be a little bit brighter, a whole lot brighter, and also a little bit more saturated. So I can draw my viewer's eyes towards the things that are brighter and more saturated. Just my brush size, I've got about 40% opacity, and then I just start painting on. And because I've created kind of this stencil using the luminosity mask, I'm able to only affect the areas that I want to and not affect the shadow areas. So if I turn this off, and back on, you can see it's done a really good job of choosing just the highlighted areas of this tree. So I'm gonna turn this back off and I'll show you another way that you can do this. So the next thing is to choose this narrow zone picker eyedropper. I'm gonna click on my background to make sure that I'm starting from there. Choose the narrow zone picker. And then I will just choose that same area that I was focusing on before, the lighter leaves. Click OK. And it's done a pretty good job choosing that as well. I could always come in here and fine tune this just a little bit. Maybe that's pretty good. And then I'll choose Dodge again. Leave it at Transparent Pixels. Choose Dodge and Burn. Same thing. I'm just going to sample. Uh, actually, I don't have to sample anything right now uh, because I've got the color already that I chose before. So I'm going to use that same color. And then I'm just gonna start painting on. Now, it's doing a good job, but it's really accentuating it. So it's kind of overdone for my taste. Here's a quick, easy tip. If you think you've overdone it, which I tend to do a lot, you can come up here to opacity and just lower that to your liking. If I take it all the way down, that'll turn it off. And then you can just bring it back in as much as you want. And then I can turn that layer on and off and you can see it's done a pretty good job of just hitting the areas that I wanted to in this tree. And those are two easy ways that you can dodge and burn using Lumenzia. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more where that came from. Happy dodging and burning.